Looks like you've got some EMP bursts inbound. Huh. 20 seconds into... Ten seconds until next wave of hostiles. Another one. Skill jammers. Hostiles inbound in twenty seconds. Another one. Next wave of hostiles in 10 seconds. EMP blasts are inbound. What is going on everybody? This is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm going to be showing you how to farm Pier 93 Resistance. This is probably the easiest mission for you guys to farm classified gear outside of the dark zone. It's pretty simple to do and if you do it right within wave 11, 12, you should be able to open up three resistance caches inside and then have two resistance caches from completing the boss waves. If you want to stay to boss wave 15, you can do that. So for this first part, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on clearing out all the enemies in the the first three rounds on way four I'll talk to you guys a little bit more remember guys if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy this video hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below I'll talk to you guys once we get to round four. So once you complete wave three, wave four will pop up and it's gonna say data breach imminent. And what that means is there will be a computer you need to secure. Now how far that computer is just really depends. It's totally random. The closest computer will take you about 15 seconds to get to. The furthest one away will take you about 40 to 45 seconds depending on how fast you can get there. So I recommend if you get one of the further distance computers, leave with 45 seconds. If it's really close, you only need about 15 seconds to get there because you don't have to completely secure the computer you just have to get there in time so it could be one second and you just arrive to the computer and as long as you stay in that circle the computer will start to secure and you'll be perfectly fine so what we're gonna do is on wave four you want to farm as many NPCs as you can you don't want to run straight to the computer you want to get as much SHD tech as possible and the way you can do this is farm all the NPCs once you get to around 45 seconds we'll open the garage and we'll head out to the pier and secure the computer but before 45 seconds we stay in here we try to kill as many NPCs as possible we collect all the SHD tech so that way we can use it toward the reward caches later on if the computer is a little bit closer I think there's one around 40 meters from here you can stay till 15 seconds then open up the garage you want to farm all the NPCs at this point in the game that way later on in the game you don't have to worry about getting any more SHD tech to open up those reward caches. So what we're going to do here is just continue fighting at 45 seconds you'll see we take off to go to the computer. seconds remaining for you to complete the critical objective.
Once you arrive to the computer, what I really recommend you doing is clearing out as many NPCs as possible. That way you guys can still collect the SHD tech after you kill all the NPCs. One tip I'm going to give you guys is instead of killing all the NPCs once you secure the computer, try to leave one guy alive. That way you guys can secure all the SHD tech that is spread all over from killing the NPCs. Now once you collect those SHD tech, kill the last guy and you need to run to the far right corner. Keep watching the video and you'll see where we run to. This will be a boss round and what you want to do is kind of the same thing you did on wave 4. You farm the NPCs before going to the computer. Well with this one, you want to farm the NPCs before you kill the boss. So save about 30 seconds before you go ahead and kill the boss. And that way you can get the most bang for your buck, get all the SHD tech and have a better chance of getting 3 rewards caches versus 2. Now the spot that we're in is probably going to be the same spot you're going to hold down all the way through wave 11. Now one thing you have to be worried about is the NPCs tend to rush you down this hallway and since we're running run reclaimer and I'm running a tactician build when I throw my sticky bomb it will pretty much kill everybody in that area. So that's why you have to be really careful with the boss round because you can end up killing him too fast and then you won't be able to farm SHD tech and if you kill him too fast that means that there is no possible way that you will be able to open up three resistant reward caches you only get those two resistant reward caches and then you'll get resistant two cash from completing round 10 so that's why I tell you just like you saw in this video you don't want to do this you don't want to kill him that fast what you want to do is try to kill all the NPCs and then let him keep rushing you sometimes the boss will stay on the outside and all the NPCs will rush you and then you don't have to really worry about hitting him but in this instance we killed the boss way too fast so you're gonna see in this video we're only able to get two resistant reward caches versus opening it up a third time because remember the first time is 3,000 the second time is 6,000 and the last time is 9,000 so one thing you want to keep an eye on is we stay in the same exact position through all 10 rounds so from round 5 all the way to round 10 we never really move all we move for is to pick up the SHD tech as soon as we pick up the SHD tech we go back into position he sets up his flame turret he puts down his reclaimer box and then anytime any NPCs come down the hallway I hit him with a sticky bomb I throw my secret mines and we just continue on like that the flame turret kind of slows down the NPCs from rushing us and his flame turret is actually going to hit pretty hard since he's stacked in electronics so he's running his reclaimer build with a box and a flame turret and I'm running seeker mines and a sticky bomb just keep watching and we'll talk in a little bit once we get to round 8 because round 8 is going to be the next round we actually have to move a little bit we're still going to farm this area but that is a round that you need to secure the computer so we'll talk in just a second So once you complete wave 7, wave 8 is going to be the round that you need to go secure the computer. Just like wave 4, you want to farm as much SHD tech, so killing NPCs, before you go secure that computer. Depending on how far that computer is will depend on how long you can farm for before you have to go secure it. I always recommend leaving around 45 seconds and then heading to the computer because the extra 15 seconds here and there you never know if you get caught up or something happens so around 45 seconds head to the computer just farm all the SHD tech that you can in this one position you'll see we never really move from here we just keep farming the NPCs and then at 45 seconds one of our guys pops a blue we rush through all the NPCs I drop my secret mines we go secure the computer and after we secure the computer we're gonna clear out all the NPCs and then get back in the same position So once you clear wave 8, wave 9 is a contamination event. This is where one of your teammates, if you guys haven't already, needs to switch to a high electronics build and run some type of immune box to keep you guys up. We have a 6 piece reclaimer so he's going to drop his box down and it's strong enough to keep us up. Now if you guys don't have a reclaimer, you need to put on your highest electronics build, something with healing speed mods to keep you guys up during this event. That is the only way you guys are going to stay alive because trying to stay alive during the contamination event without some type of box is very very hard so we're able to run through this pretty quick sticky bombs seeker mines flame turret and of course the reclaimer box is keeping us up the whole time so as soon as we clear this wave we're going to talk about wave 10 the next boss round
So now that we complete wave 9, wave 10 is the next boss round. So this is another round where you want to try to keep the bosses alive as long as possible and that way you guys can farm as much SHD tech as possible. So killing NPCs and not focusing those bosses. Don't do what we just did here because when you go down to unlock the two doors to get to the rewards resistant caches, you're going to need to have a lot of SHD tech saved up. If you kill them too fast, you're going to be just like us. We were only able to open the box up twice. So we'll have have resistance one cash resistance two cash and then we will be able to open up the rewards cash two times not three times we'll be short just a little bit so try to keep the bosses up as long as possible that's the bad thing about when you camp in this area right here sometimes those bosses rush you like they did and then we end up killing them and then we don't get all that shg tech so my tip for here is you might want to fight not in this area or maybe try to open up a different door or run away but you want to stay up as long as possible during this period so remember keep the bosses up kill as much NPCs as possible, continue collecting that SHD tech until about 45 seconds, and then you can kill the bosses. So once you complete this round, pick up the gear that dropped, pick up the SHD tech, and then go open your first door. You're gonna go to the bay door that was right behind where you were camping, and it's gonna cost you 3,500 SHD tech. So open that door up, and then we're gonna rush all the way down and try to open up the next door. So all you wanna do is open up two doors, and then you'll be right where you need to be so you can get those reward resistant caches. You should have enough already to open up the box twice. You might, if you farmed right, have enough to open up three times. We didn't farm it right. You saw we killed the bosses way too quick on wave five and wave 10. So open up this last door. It's gonna cost you 2,500 SHD tech and then the reward resistant caches are right there that you can open up now once wave 11 starts you won't be able to interact with any of the shd rewards caches so you have to complete wave 11 and then you will have access to those reward caches now if you do it a little bit smarter and you don't do it like us during wave 10 instead of killing that last npc you can open up the two storage bait doors head down there open up the resistant caches and then kill that last npc the one thing you guys need to take note of this wasn't a perfect run for us so hopefully you guys guys farm the computer round perfect you farm the boss wave rounds perfect and you get as much shd tech as possible we were short about 500 shd tech so once you complete this round you're going to open up the resistant reward caches the first one's going to cost you 3000 the second one's going to cost you 6000 and then the last one is going to cost you 9000 if you farmed it right you should have enough shd tech to open it up three times we were only lucky enough to open it up two times we wiped and we redid it as you saw in the beginning of the video we did this run two times I got four different classified pieces so if you're missing one or two pieces here or there this is a perfect place for you guys to finish off those classified gear sets I hope this video was helpful if you still have any questions after watching this video on how to do resistance on pier 93 to get classified gear let me know in the comment section remember you guys can get exotics from these reward resistant caches don't forget when you complete wave 5 the boss round you get a resistant 1 cache when you complete wave 10 you also get a resistant 2 cache and then the great thing about this is all this gear is shared so if you're in a two-man group and you're missing some gloves or a chess piece, you guys can share the gear with each other. I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys were wondering on how I farm my classified gear sets when I'm not in the dark zone, I do Pier 93 resistance. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Use the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if this is the first time you're watching a video, hit that subscribe button. I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support. And if you don't see me in Last Stand, if you don't see me in Skirmish, if you don't see me in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.